You'll never love me as much as I love you, Gabriel. That was the castle talking. <laughs> I was about to get a little worried there. The primordial void gem has fallen from the blood statue. Now I can use its freezing power. Anyway, if you if you punch in the Kadabi code first, when you hit into the start menu, he winks at you. <laughs> but does that unlock anything for us? No, it's just a cool little thing. No, it just winks. Oh. Oh boy, we found a Chaos Emerald. Yes. <sighs> Only six more to go. Where's that damn second Chaos Emerald? Right next to the damn fourth Chaos Emerald. <laughs> well, we could do something to the waterfall, but unfortunately we ran out of magic. Aww. And for some reason I thought these statues dropped experience. Well, that would drop some concept art. I'm still not sure whether they're going to be posting concept art in the thread or not. Anyway, we do have uh, enough to uh, to buy some uh, new uh, new moves. Also, uh, Void Sword comes with the uh, Cybersault by default, so we're going to buy the Combined Stab. Ooh, none of those were stabs. Yeah, that that's that's a that's actually an upgrade to the combined stab. That's gonna adds an extra an extra move to it. And we're gonna do the same thing for the the X combo for the whip. I mean, that one's at least a whip, but I not, none of those were sword slashes were stabs. Well, you'll you'll see. It's uh. The, the animation will make it a little clearer. Anyway, we got the uh, the magic font. It works more or less exactly as it did in the first game. Come to me, my children. Mm. Give me more power. Oh, great. We're charging up for nine episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, kids, Namek explodes in five minutes. Seriously, Dracula, get a bib or something, for Christ's sake. Mmm, <laughs> crayon apple flavor. I think they retconned the dynamic thing to uh, actually be that Frieza was just bullshitting Goku the whole time because he, uh, <laughs> he, he, he toned it down at the last minute because he was freaked out that he might actually kill himself. <laughs> oh, dear. So you, you have to make sure that you selected the Shadow Dagger in order for the uh, the Void Dagger to work, because uh, it th it's specific to the dagger power. And as a result, the, uh, the strength and weakness system is pretty much gone now from this game, because the Shadow Dagger is the only item that could be modified with magic. Huh. I can appreciate a bit of streamlining like that. But in its place, we have something new. These are the relics. Okay. So this first relic is Tears of a Saint. Basically, it's a health refill, and it gives you a 50%, I think it's a 50% uh, health uh, overcharge when you use it. Now, here's the other cool thing, is that uh, you know, there's obviously an ammo cap, However, um, there's also a different system, which we'll get into a little bit later. You also notice that we're in the Bernard's wing. Uh, this ca the castle, as Dracula remembers it. Hmm. We don't have the mm. key. The, we need a key for that. But the castle, as Dracula remembers it, has been expanded considerably. Uh, this, this castle, essentially, he took it over after he killed Carmilla in the first game. Okay. And uh, the castle before Carmilla owned it was owned by the Bernards. 
Uh, the This is the different version of the Bernards from the Mites of Innocence. Uh, they were the same ones who did the experiments that uh, ended up, they ended up having to seal the forgotten one away. Okay. How oh, good, more of these. So, th- from what I'm getting of the scale of this, the Bernard's Wing, which is a small section of the castle in this game, that by itself was just the entire... Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, that was just... That itself was the castle as dra- as Gabriel explored it in the first game. So for years and years and years, he added on to this thing like a trophy wife. Yes. Hmm. And now the castle is striking back, apparently. Yeah, I don't think we need to see the, the journey back. <laughs> so that hole over there, that needs a dungeon key. That's something else that we'll be getting into a bit later. If only Gabriel were the master of lock picking. <laughs> nope. He just throw up in it. He doesn't have the RPD training needed to uh, to pick locks. Oh no, sorry, the stars training. <laughs> I keep instinctively hitting the walls, even though there are barely any breakable walls in this game. Most of the uh, the hidden content is behind dungeon keys. It's just, it's a, it's a Metroidvania. You got to smack behind every single wall in case one of them has like a hidden room in it. (laughs) You need the morph ball and the bombs to find them though. (laughs) Anyway, here's an interesting little puzzle. So something that the, the first, uh, waterfall didn't really teach you. These waterfalls are on a timer. They will unfreeze after a while. Okay. Ooh. So you have to mash A to climb a bit faster. So up here is going to be our our fifth uh, health upgrade. Now, I did mention before in my my Lords of Shadow 1 playthrough that I was very disappointed that you do not get uh, the music when it upgrades. However, I have rectified that. From now on, I will be adding the music. Yes! As it should be. All is right with the world. You didn't edit the speed or pace of the, the clip, right? That was just no. overlaying the music? It just, it just happens to line up. <laughs> okay, so it seems <laughs> like it would have been... they. Wow, that's a transition. Stop. My lord. My, my, my friend. We will kill anyone who tries to take you away from is under my protection. You're not our lord anymore! Oh no, he drank the (laughs) (laughs) Kool-Aid. Okay, new enemy type. This is the Dishonored Vampire, and oh no, he's taking our son hostage. He's gonna pay for that. And Trevor will die if you let him, uh, uh, if you let him stay for, for long enough, by the way. Ooh. How long is long enough? About 10 seconds. Okay. So it's enough enough urgency, you know. So the Dishonored Vampires are, you know, um, they're a mid-tier enemy. They're they're not they're dangerous enough that you have to pay attention, but they're not still not difficult. So now that I play with QTEs off, uh you, you do the finishers 
um, automatically now. But uh, the thing is that you only get a 50 experience point bonus for completing the finishers. Whereas if you had QTEs on, that experience point bonus goes up to 100. Oh, oh. okay. Because I was wondering if it meant like you do them in real time, so you're actually vulnerable during them. But no. I, I guess that's <laughs> that would a... be a good. That would be a great idea, though. Would it though? Because I'm pretty sure Dark Souls Two had that on backstabs, and everyone hated that. <laughs> oh well, I've I have not the only the only Soulsborne game I've played is Vampire by Don't Not Entertainment, <laughs> so I I can't uh, I can't say that. <laughs> There's also the. Uh... Was it the, what was it the dodge or the shove in Resident Evil Three where you get a cool animation but you're also still vulnerable? Which, on top of it being super hard to use, made people really not like the damn thing. Yeah, I, I guess if the mechanic was was you know intuitive enough, it, it could have been, you know, it could have been it could be interesting. Also, this is what I'm talking about regarding the finishers on hard. Uh, the amount of time that enemies stand uh, stay in a diseased state is really short, and uh, and as I mentioned before, uh, if, if enemies are knocked down, uh, you cannot use the finisher on them. Also, don't worry, Trevor is invincible, and the only way that he can die uh, is if you leave him in that hostage state for too long. Did. Take this. Use it, and I will come. Is this real? Or just a dream? We got the White Wolf Medallion. Oh. So when we find wolf symbols, we can pull out the White Wolf, wolf Medallion and summon Trevor. Yes. That's pretty much exactly what it does. Is it baby Trevor or... Well, you'll see. We're, we're going to get some upgrades first, though. Ah, uh, don't tease us. We're going to get the guillotine. Mm. Which was a, a great move in the first game, and it's just as good here. It's a fan favorite, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, unlike in the first game, you could cancel out of the animation with a dodge. Oh, hell yeah. Oh... It's really useful, and I almost for, almost always forget I have it, but when I do use it, it's really cool. There's one more pain box in this room. That's not the pain box. Nor is Neither that. is that. No. <laughs> okay, the lighting... The lighting, the reflections, this is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, even on console, this game looked really good. The HD pack is not an add-on DLC, right? Like, it's no. free, right? No, it, it, it comes in standard with the PC version. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I imagine it's like the Skyrim HD pack. All right, fine. Time to make the obligatory House of Stark reference. I didn't realize our son would grow up to be a furry. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you not play Mirror of Fate Dracula? I mean, come on. You saw this coming. Exist 
Back in the, the real world. world. Yes, we are back <laughs> in the real world. Sure. Yeah, Dishonored Vampires also have a really, really fast unblockable attack with very little wind-up. It can be a real bitch in uh, groups. You can freeze that waterfall, right? Uh, yeah, as long as you've got that blue glowy icon. Could you, like, freeze a waterfall while an enemy is standing under it? I haven't actually tried that. I should, because I still have quite a bit of the game left to record. I got to see if I could do that. Because I did notice that uh, the vampire there might have been like, you know, inside the waterfall. And I saw the glowy thing. So. And we also got ourselves a new relic. This is a dodo. It's a dodo egg. Oh. They're not extinct? No. Now, if we hatch the dodo egg, it will help us find a secret. And if we don't like what relic we have, we could also absorb uh, am ammo into like a universal ammo pool and then transmute it into a uh, into a different relic. It's really useful. Huh. Huh. But there's a catch. It's DLC. Oh. That, not the relics, but the transmute and absorb mechanic is DLC. It's $2. What? I don't know why. I mean, this was Konami like a year before Fan and Pain came out. Should this really be a surprise? Okay, yeah. No, I mean, at this point, fair, no. To be fair, that's the only paid DLC in the game. But it's I, really actually, weird that that's paid DLC. Because I there was a, there was a story DLC pack which I think was free, or at least it became free after a while. Also, I'm showing off that the uh, that after I hatched the dodo. Uh, it pointed me to a an item that I wasn't able to get yet. Thanks a lot, Dodo. You're really helpful. <laughs> no wonder you guys are extinct. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we've got this little puzzle. There's a tiny little hole in there. And you know what that means? It's rat time. Oh, God. This is like the rat puzzle in... Persona 5. I was thinking the same thing, actually. Okay, I haven't played Persona 5. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I mean, it's not nearly as obnoxious as the original uh, iteration of the Rat Rooms, but... Alright, so this is the first, like, really expanded rat section that we're seeing. Like I said, I don't mind the rat sections that much. The, the parts I actually hate are where they force you into stealth as Dracula proper. Like, those parts are terrible. And, and inexcusable. But the rat sections I like. I like those parts. And I like his animation when, he, when the rats jump. They're really cute. Also, watch out for the electricity. The, these electric pools are very, uh... They're very seg segmented. I don't know what a better word for this would be. Yeah, it's extremely generous. You either hit it or you don't. Um, what I was going to say is... If when you come out of rat mode and go back in, do you get all nine rats back or? Yes. OK. Yeah. Basically, it's just a live system for whatever segmented rat section you're in. Also, rats, rats apparently cannot climb diagonally. Little known fact. Huh? Well, yeah, they have such real uh, such a poor sense of balance. 
Wait, hang on. This is this looks yeah, like a yeah, diagonal. I'll get all my friends back. That totally is diagonal. These rats are bullshitters, man. <laughs> yeah, see, that wasn't too bad. I love the music behind the rat, by the way. Yeah, I do too. Oh, better get around the Golgoth guard there. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I find the the rat sections relatively harmless. Now this is a tricky little puzzle. And I always forget Ooh. that it's two it it's it's two bursts of electricity on this uh, on this wire here. One, two, then you run. And now here's the tricky part. You still need to use up a rat in order to solve this puzzle. And now, suddenly, that uh, that other wire there has also magically had its power cut. Maybe it was attached to the same circuit as the other ones. I don't know. It probably was. You did just fry the power. That fan under there is still running. Different circuit. <laughs> I think the rats are meant to be like a reference to the, uh, the Boris Karloff Dracula movie. Thousands of rats with their eyes blazing red. Like his, only smaller. And then he held up his hand, and they all stopped. Anyway, now we're we're possessing the the IT guy instead of the Golgoth <laughs> card. Have you tried turning it off and on <laughs> again? Yes, I understand. The start key is next to control. It's the thing. That looks like a square with little, with little, uh, with a little cross in the middle. Uh, <laughs> control, Alt, and Delete. Uh, you, you can see them on your keyboard. It man, I don't need, I don't need tech help right now. I need these bats fucking off of me. Your motherboard is not inside your monitor, ma'am. Please do not move. Okay, we better do what the lady says. Otherwise, you might give away our position. Stay where you are. Something's wrong here. Synthesizing a substance, a gas. They plan to release it into the atmosphere to infect the people. Tonight, there's something else. There is someone special here. Different from the others. Very, very powerful. I'm being sensed. I'm going to retreat. Be careful.
New enemy type. This is the possessed citizen. Man, I don't remember this strain of the T virus. <laughs> no. Well, they're always making new ones. True, and it is a virus, so it's like always every evolving. Resident Evil game. Yeah. All right. The possessed citizen. Uh, depending on what type of possessed citizen you're fighting, they can either be, you know, not that annoying, not that hard, or extremely annoying. The one you're killing now, does it like explode into bile? No, I guess not. Uh, well, there are some that uh, uh, that vomit out goo, etc. Also, you can use Bat Swarm in the middle of combat, and it causes enemies to go crazy and attack anyone, including you or their friends. Interesting. And also, as soon as they get out of Bat Swarm, uh, they will immediately enter a dizzied state, even if they're at full health. All right, I gotta say, the modern day stuff just got freaking fascinating. Discern much from her regarding these acolytes and their plans. If I had known you were coming, I would have made myself more presentable. Who are you and what do you want? Oh, I see now why you're here. <laughs> I'm gonna have such fun with you. <laughs> All right, so this is Reza Volkova. <laughs> and she is really fast. She's too good for you. Find a way to <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> way, way, to, way to really, really Only... put a, a point on it, Zobek. <laughs> oh, you're good. I like a man who takes control. Looks like I'm gonna have to get my hands dirty with you. I promise it'll be short and sweet. <laughs> so I really like the uh, the Volkova fight. Like I said, I like all the boss fights, and and Volkova is, is she's a really great boss. Um, I, I think I had a really good fight against her as well. Uh, so, uh, uh, lightning in this game is an elemental unblockable attack, uh, which means that, uh, it is completely undodgeable in any form. Uh, you have to jump over it. You also notice that number at the top of the screen that's going up as we use the combined whip. That is related to another mechanic I will have to get into in a later video. Uh, but to make a long story short, this game has a uh, level up as you use system uh, of experience in addition to the regular XP. Oh, that's what oh. that was. Interesting. Do you find it frustrating to, to, to level up your individual skills at all, or...? It, it does on occasion, because of some of, with some of the more contextual moves. You can't see me. But it's not anywhere near as bad as, like, Final Fantasy 2, then. Go ahead no. And make me. Or it's not as bad. It's not as bad in a character action game compared to, say, Final Fantasy 2. I'm trying to think of the last game I played that you had this kind of system. It might have been Mega Man Zero. It was still kind of bad there. But yeah, it, but yeah it, 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 it's not related to... Because um, there, there's three different. There's purchasing moves, there's upgrades, 
and then there's the the level up as you use which is related to move mastery and that that is uh, that dictates how powerful individual moves are we'll we'll get into that system later okay Anyway, like I said before, I really like this fight, and I happen to have a really good fight against it. I did try to do... I couldn't do a no-damage fight against most of the bosses, but I tried to keep damage to a minimum where I could. I I think I managed to do pretty well against Volkova, all things considered. Finally. Oh my God. Would you say tough but fair? Yes, especially as, like, a first real big boy boss. I like the gimmick. Yeah, especially as an introduction to lightning. Is she dead? No, only unconscious. I'm opening up. Congratulations, Gabriel. You managed to fight a woman and not kill her. I'm proud of you. Oh. I think this is the first time that Gabriel's managed it. We're making progress. We're just going to rub that one in a little. There we go. <laughs> I mean, Laura, Laura doesn't count because technically we fought her deadly toys. We didn't fight her directly. So I, I don't think that counts. I'll allow it. I mean, we, we were antagonistic against her, but we didn't really fight her specifically. So, yeah, this is the first time that Gabriel has fought a woman and didn't kill her. You know, he's, he is growing as a character. Even um, after he literally became Dracula. <laughs> it, it only took becoming the greatest villain of all time to find that little bit of compassion necessary to not stab a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta say, I like where this is going so far. Now that, ladies, is what we call character development. 